Hi there, I hope you're doing well. This is Franklin coming to you from Osaka. I wanted to show you guys some of the adventures I had this month in Kansai and share some really lovely spots to see autumn foliage. I wouldn't say autumn in Japan is underrated by any means, but I think it's the perfect time of year to travel to Japan or within Japan if you're already here. So keep note of these spots for the future when travel is safe again. We're starting our November adventures in Shiso City in Hyogo Prefecture. Even though it was still early November at this point, the leaves had already started to change color in this area. My friend Lauren and I rented a car and drove out a couple hours from Osaka to do some apple picking at Hata Apple Farm. It was 600 yen to pick apples for two hours. When you do fruit picking here, it's all you can eat, but there's usually fruit for sale at the entrance if you want to bring anything home. picking with Lauren. We just finished up and we got apple soft cream. So something that you'll find a lot in Japan is soft cream of whatever fruits or vegetables or foods are famous in that area. Mm. So I got onion soft cream before when we went to Awajishima mm. and here it's bingo apple. soft cream. So. You can get like tomato soft cream other places too. <laughs> or shoyu soy shoyu. sauce or wasabi. Mm -hmm. Oh. This is so good though, as mm -hmm. expected. Mm -hmm. In this area, right down the road, there's also a waterfall. There's a parking lot just up the road, or you can walk from the parking area where the apple farm is. Either way, you'll have to walk a bit though because cars can't go on the path up to the waterfall. Lauren and I spent about 7,000 yen each that day for the car, tolls, and gas. Usually the most expensive cost when renting a car here is the tolls. Our next little adventure is not necessarily autumn foliage related, but this place, Nakanoshima Park in Osaka, is one of my favorite spots in the city. This is the Rose Garden, which is insanely beautiful at its peak in May, but there are also some roses that bloom in October and may still be around in early November. I was on my way to meet my friend Ariana, whose channel I will link below, at a cafe called Old Rose Garden. We went there for their tea set. Hard at work. Easy. <laughs> I used to have a better stick, and now my stick is not so good anymore. Uh. Somehow we jumped to late November. I think I was just busy organizing my house, and my birthday is also mid November, so I was enjoying that weekend, and I got another tattoo, but I didn't film it. We're back with the beautiful autumn foliage at Katsuoji in Mino City, Osaka. I rented a car with two friends, and this was our first destination. This site is famous for the Dharma that you can find in every corner. Ariana may go into more detail about the temple and about Dharma in her video, but in a nutshell, these are little figures meant for good luck and motivation in completing your goals. When you buy one, you set a goal for yourself and color in one eye. Then you set it in a place where you can be reminded of your goals and you can see the Dharma clearly. When your wish or goal has come true, you can color in the other eye and return it to the temple. Aside from the thousands of Dharma you can find here, or even purchase one for yourself at 500 yen, this is one of the most beautiful autumn spots I've seen yet. If you're going by public transit, you can take the train to Mino station, then get on a bus to the temple. You can't really walk here from the station, but there are a lot of other beautiful things to see in Mino that are walkable from the train station. So let's go! Thank you. 
surprise, it's another waterfall. There's also an insect museum here that I only posted on Instagram. Our final little adventure brings us to Arashiyama in Kyoto. There is an elderly couple that I teach on Skype every week and they told me this is their favorite place in autumn, so I went with my friend Rosa to check it out. I discovered that there is a scenic train called the Sagano Romantic Train that brings you through the foliage for 30 minutes or so, but while we waited in line all the time sold out. This would be lovely in the spring, but I'd recommend buying tickets online during popular seasons. Arashiyama is famous for the giant bamboo forest that is a hugely popular site among both tourists and residents, but it's also just a very cute town to explore. You can see many people walking around in kimono. Some may be tourists, but Japanese people wear them too. Away from the hustle and bustle of the main road, there are so many quiet and serene spots to just soak in nature. I realized this year how important that is to me and how peaceful it can be to just sit outside and take walks. Have I become a grandma? Maybe, but I'm happy.